Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of our Dangerous Approach series and today we are heading from a very rainy and cloudy London Heathrow down to Gibraltar where the weather will hopefully and should be a little bit better than it is over here uh, we're heading down to Gibraltar famous for that circus land approach and the rock cliff right next to the airport so that should be a good one fun episode but before we can start worrying about our uh, arrival into Gibraltar, we need to get everything programmed and ready to go out of a very dark and gloomy London Heathrow. So as you can see, we are getting the catering cargo on board. Passengers are also getting loaded up. And we have electrical power connected to the ground power unit. But apart from that, nothing is planned in the MCDU. And we still need to get everything in our flight plan programmed in and all the rest of that good stuff so without any further delay let's head in the cockpit and get ourselves underway off to Gibraltar so obviously you can see we have electrical power up and our RSSs are aligning so first thing we want to do is head down here and we'll go to the init page from the inner page we'll go to load plan company route there our call sign today is PBID 492 PBID 492 we have a cost index of 15 on our flight today and we should be cruising at an altitude of 37,000 feet so that'll be 370 and we'll hit align IRS we see GPS primary IRS is our aligned perfect if we open up the tallest menu on our right hand side here right side, left hand side and we go to loading performance we want to make sure that is all set up so 127 passengers on board and we're looking for a zero fuel weight of about 57.2 Go 56.9, apply load settings. On our flight, we're gonna need 9.2 tons of fuel. Do a quick refuel, and then we can enter this information into our MCDU. Here we are down here, zero fuel weight, 56.9, and a block fuel of 9.2. Perfect. If we hit the flight plan, we'll be passing off runway 27 left on the Goxy to Golf. No transition, insert that. Go to performance. We're doing a flex takeoff. V1 will set to 147, V rotate 150, and V2 153. Flaps position 1 and trim is down. 0.1 flexing to 67 and uh, looking at the SID transition altitude is 6,000 feet so that's all good in there so looking at here we can see everything is planned for our departure so straight out and a left turn to Gogsy. And we can get a 6000 plugs in. We can get our charts opened up on the tablet to make sure we are following the procedures correctly. Our flight time today we're looking at about 2 hours and 50 minutes so a nice little hop across Europe we can start getting the doors closed up everything is loaded up close the cargo doors and catering doors first And we can get rid of them. Mm. 
Got weather radar set. And we can plan the pushback. Okay, we're wanting to face to the left of our current position. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledge. Call me through the menu when you're ready. Okay, APU must switch. And we can close the passenger door. So click here, the flap is open. And get the APU started. Get the beacon light on. And once the APU is fired up, we'll be able to disconnect the ground power and call for pushback. So yeah, we're doing that. APU is unavailable. APU bleed can come on. We'll disconnect external power. And we'll get the external power to disappear. And we'll call pushback. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. Tow is driving up. Now you can see the general gist of our flight plan as we head south towards Gibraltar. All we can do is open AVS. You can see here all the taxiways and we'll plan our taxi to runway 27 on the left. See inside the cabin. The seats are modeled pretty nicely. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, he wants us to release parking brake. We can do that because we are ready to go. I'll get the block timer started. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Get the engine over to ignition. And there we go, pushing back from our gate 527. And I got engine 1 mass switch.
see how we're doing engine one on and available so we got a good start there we we'll got engine two operation complete set parking brake we got the parking brake set disconnecting tow stand by We can see the bus switching over to the generators and engine 2 is unavailable. Go back to the norm position. AP bleed can come off, APU master switch can come off as well. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Cool, he is gone, so we should be good to head off to run with T7 left once he is clear of the aircraft. Get fast position one. Can arm the speed brakes, also brake to max. And just wait until we see him driving off and we can get our tax lights turned on. FPS is taking a little bit of a hit though. <laughs> Not sure why that's just dropped by 10. Oh, he's on the right, so he's gone. Cool. Taxi light can come on, or my tunnels can come on as well. And lights can go to the off position. And let's get the parking brake released. And we can taxi out to runway T7 left as quickly as possible because it is a fairly long taxi all the way down the airport. Hopefully the FPS will pick back up again. Okay, we'll check the cabin. Takeoff config is normal. Okay, we've gone that out of the way early enough. Something here with the as well. So we should take a look at the runway, come see a few bumps. Should be good.
Let's get the sand stand up a little bit. He just keeps doing that randomly. And there's all to get off to the left. The artifacts being mashed in this to the airport. Why is however my falls during contest on? Just like, okay, why does he keep doing that? So that when we um, get to Gibraltar, the rock is. Not cut up. There is such a big airport. And the second I go over to the, it starts turning to the left by itself. I was supposed to take link 30 onto Alpha. Oh, okay, I'm Kilo now. So our holding point is the next one on the right, November Bravo 2 Whiskey. The wind's 209 at 10 knots. And we'll get ourselves on to runway 27 left. And then lights straight back and come on as well. Approaching 27 left. How's FPS doing? FPS is a little better now, so. That's a plus. Okay, you're on way to the left. Let's get ourselves lined up on the center line. There we go, guys. You're all lined up. We'll get the chrono started. And. Just check. Auto brakes at max, speed brakes on, flaps are set at position one, cabin is ready, we got the line lights turned on. And with that we are good to go for takeoff. Advanced throttles forwards past forty percent. 
uh, Manuflex set, SRS. Nuts. My speed is alive. I got V1. Oh, rotates. What's the climb? Okay, it's coming up. Send the thrust to the climb position. Engage, jumps past one. One more time, come on, nose like and come off. So, we're ground spoilers. And here we are, already about to enter the clouds. Things looking good guys, we'll get our flaps cleaned up. And let's see how we're doing. Climb past 3000, we'll get 370 plugged in. Which is going to be our cruising altitude for today's flight. See, we're going to fly the Galaxy 2 Golf departure, which is going to take us out on a left turn up ahead. Here we are, flying through the clouds, about to break through. The weather is looking much better up here already. See, the aircraft is gonna hold 6000 to comply with the SID. So, what we can do is execute direct to Gugsy, save us some time. as we come above the clouds where there is much nicer up here. We're going to open climb, start climbing up to 370. And we can get the landing lights turned off. Well, guys, that's going to do it for our departure out of London Heathrow. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in a bit when we're back for our arrival into. Uh, Gibraltar.
Welcome back guys, we are approaching the coastline of uh, Gibraltar, as you can see we've just left the Spanish coastline and Gibraltar is off to our right hand side, if you can see the uh, rock over there, that's Gibraltar. We are inbound to Waypoint Pimos, we're going to make our right turn. Which ends into the approach phase for the Arna Runway 09. Oh, pardon me. Which is going to put in the approach for the Arna Runway 09. You can see here uh, from Pimas we go to Bogov and then it's uh, right turn all the way around the, the rock and onto Runway 09. If we get a quick weather update for Gibraltar. The winds 2 to 0 at 10, temperatures 27 degrees Celsius, uh, QNH is 1016, and sky conditions are clear, no clouds reported. So we have some favourable conditions for our arrival on the Circle Savant. And let's see, we're just coming up on 9,000 feet right now, so we can get 4,300 plugged in. And uh, you can see our profile we need to be following. Let's change over because we are now into the RNAV phase, approach phase activated. I can get the airport charts open. You see here, uh, it's a very short runway, 5,830 feet only. So we'll get auto brake medium armed right there. And We'll see how things go. So you can see uh, the wind effects from the rock. Um, or the winds, let's check them. Two G zero at ten. So this is what the wind effects are gonna be like on our uh, arrival here. So it shouldn't really affect us too much unless we have to do a go around. But uh, it should be fairly smooth on our approach in. So the winds off here before the circle to land on my zero to land. And there you can see Madeira. You can see the port over there on the other side of the bay. Some cruise ships and the airport itself. And of course the famous rock. Get our landing lights turned on. Uh, get the seatbelt signs on. Right there. Get flap set position one. Uh, if there are some speed brakes to help us slow down. Here we got terrain radar on. And let's see how we're doing on the heading two five eight towards Bugov. And then once we reach this waypoint here, Gulf Bravo 092, I'll take minor control and fly around onto Romy 09. 
2,700. And we'll get flash position too. I want to be in full configuration for landing before I take over manual control. In fact, I'll take over manual control at Golf Bravo 094. Gives us enough time to get everything slowed down and ready. QH was 1016, so we can get that plugged in. And the temperature is 27 degrees now. Make sure the cabin's getting ready for landing. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Passing 3,900 feet. Speed is coming down. Okay, on um, the speed brakes. We have flap position three. Oh, I got a landing gear down. Good guys. So let's see how we're doing on timings as well. Two hours and 21 minutes in the air so far. Two hours and 32 since we left Island Gate at Heathrow. So we are ahead of schedule. Which is always a good thing. Okay, get flaps full. And right now, I'm going to take a manual control of the aircraft. And continue to send profile down, making that right turn. The flight director's off. I find this fully visual now.
So line checklist, auto brake, medium, speed brakes, armed, flaps full, line lights on. And cabin is ready for landing. So line checklist is complete. Two thousand feet checked. Okay, continue our right turn. Don't want to make it too sharp. Miles of feet checked. Oh, here got the field in sight. Continuing. Definitely on profile, guys. Have a shot a little bit. I don't. And we're down. So he wakes up for a versus full. Uh, deceleracing. Still reverses. My ear breaking. And we'll vacate to the left here. Welcome to Gibraltar, guys. That was a beautiful approach. Welcome, welcome to Gibraltar. Just hold here for a second. Get the line lights turned off. Strobe black can come off. Stop the chrono. Terrain radar. Speed brake can come down. Clean the flaps, brake fan can come on. Because I am sure those brakes are hot. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're definitely hot. <laughs> Look at that temperature right there. And we'll get ourselves taxied to the main apron. Get APU master switch on. And then we'll be able to get the APU starts up in a few months. See the flap is open. We'll get APU started.
Here we go, tax light turned off. Now I'll take the next gate over here, gate number three. AP is available. We're going to just follow the marshaller. He's going to guide us in. Get the APU bleed on. Oh, I'm going to stop right there, parking brake can go on. EPU is on and available. Now I've got engines turned off. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's doing. Oh, there we go, engines are shutting down. I have no idea what that guy's doing. Uh, get the beacon lights turned off. Gens 1 and 2 can come off. Now uh, we'll stop the block timer. So, 2 hours 27 minutes in the air. 2 hours 42 minutes gate to gate on the block time. All good and well. So we are parked up here in Gibraltar now after a beautiful flight from a very rainy and stormy London Heathrow. The weather is much better over here in Gibraltar. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode 2 the beautiful approach into Gibraltar. Uh, and stay tuned for episode 3, will be out next Monday at the usual timing. But that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, I'll see you in the skies, and take care, guys.